Okay, my heart is going so quick. Like that, That's per. If you did that, it's perfect. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh, why is it so scary? Come on, just do it. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. As a mountain bike rider, you are constantly dealing with fear, whether you are a professional or a complete beginner. We all experience it, but it's how you deal with it which is what allows you to progress, hit that jump, or land that scary trick. I know for a fact that Cara finds step downs terrifying, and the aim of today's video is to uncover that fear, overcome it, and hopefully help her to ride step downs by looking at her technique and defeating fear. So, what is a step down feature? Basically, drop-offs are scary enough. Imagine then putting a ramp on top of the drop and sending yourself super, super high. It is the scariest, most difficult feature to ride, in my opinion. Something like a step up is very nice and safe because you go up and all your sort of momentum and energy is almost killed, which means that if you do crash, it's a softer landing, hence why they're often used for trying tricks or learning tricks. The step down is completely different. You're going super high, and you're dropping, which gains a lot of momentum, gains speed. It's really good at the start of a set of jumps because it helps you to initiate the speed to clear that set. I can completely understand why a step down feature is super scary for a beginner rider such as Kara. We're gonna check in with her now to find out what it is that she finds particularly scary about the step down. I've been progressing really nicely on jumps and doubles, but step downs is something that really scares me and the reason for this is because as you're approaching it you actually can't see the landing and it just seems like you're gonna just ride off the edge of the world and also as well if I forget to pull up or I do something wrong out of the lip then it's quite a long way down before anything will catch you so it's something that's quite easy to go over the bars on and that really scares me so I really would quite like to overcome that today and try and hit a few different step downs. Oh, this is so scary and this is literally just the warm up one to ease me in but yeah, super super scary. And actually this is the first time that I've ridden the MD MTB Hopper Pro ramp as well. I normally just stick to the yellow backpack one. Cara is super scared of this very ramp right now and this is a little tip for you guys out there that are struggling to overcome fear. She's come to this session knowing that this was the task and this is what she wanted to achieve. And going there with that fixated on your mind is good because you think about it a lot, but it also is bad because fear can make you ride very stiff and not ride as good as you usually can. So what we're gonna do, have a little ride on some of the features which she finds a lot easier, warm up her body, warm up her brain until the point where she's a bit looser and feeling some excitement and energy as opposed to fear and sort of all like this. And then we're gonna come over, smash this while she's stoked, and it's gonna be an awesome day. I'm all warmed up now, but I just keep looking at that step down setup and it's just not happening in my head. So I've moved the ramp to flat first because I wanna feel how to actually ride the ramp before I then go into something gnarly. So we're gonna give that a go and then move it back. Is that enough? Yeah. She's super nervous, which is, not nice to see, but it's perfect for this video and hopefully helping her to overcome it. Yo! So scary. Perfect though. Even just hitting it to flat, it's petrifying. Yeah, do it again and get a I'm feel for it. Do it again and then we'll see. We'll see after that. Yo! Easy. Yeah. You're looking really comfortable on that. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Does it feel good? <sighs> yeah. You I... must have a bit more confidence now you've hit it. Yeah. I just. Yeah. Okay. Let's move it to the step down then. You. Just need to get it done. Yeah. And I want to go home. <laughs> Real fear, isn't it? Yeah. Real fear. Like that, see? That's yeah. per. If you did that, it's perfect. Yeah. That'd be such a good send. Scary. My heart is going so quick. She's got it so easily. Just scary. Big wooden kicker in the way. Oh, so 
so scary. I'm just like, like I'm sitting up there and like, right, just do it, just do it, just do it. And then literally as soon as I start pedaling and gaining speed, that's it, I bottle it. Oh, I just gotta, I just gotta do it. Right, come on Carl, come on, come on, come on. Maybe get a bigger run up. So I'm properly setting. Oh gosh, why is this so scary? Come on. Got to do it, got to do it, got to do it. Just do it, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Yo! Nice! Well done. Well done. How was that? So scary. Yeah. So, so scary. Look how much I'm shaking. Yeah, that's a proper trembler, that, isn't it? Talk us through it. Oh, what did you do? I went, what was happening? Like, I was just getting mind blocked. Like, that's way within my capabilities, but it was just so scary because it's the step down thing. Yeah. And, like, what I did was because where I was sat, I could see the ramp. Yeah. So I, like, pedaled down into the woods and like gave myself a bit of a pep talk you probably hear it on the gopro actually <laughs> and uh pedaled round so i was set up then by the time i could see the ramp i was all ready to go yeah so it was just a matter of like just do it and it's fine but that was honestly so scary i'm on, i'm like petrified still really i don't know yeah get another one out of the way do another one yeah, yeah go straight back in and get okay. it done because the more you do now 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 you know that it's fine the more you do the better yeah. it will become did i nose dive a little bit but it was fine it was good it was really good for your first one because then you're scared do a few you'll loosen up and you'll be steezing off of it yeah go on then okay right i'm going into my run up again oh it's still so scary i don't know why oh come on cara you got this you got this you got this you got this so scared, so scared. Right, go. Yo! Smooth! Oh, that was fine. That was okay. It's still so scary. I don't know what's scary now, the fact that I feel like I'm gonna go off that bit. Right, she rode that so much better. You could tell after doing one, she sort of got the nerves out and was a bit more relaxed and actually had control over the bike rather than the other way around. So the way you've overcome the fear is you arrived, you rode some other things, got stoked, got warmed up. You then broke it down into steps. You jumped the kicker to get the feel of the ramp. Yeah. And then you had a bit of a mind block, but you just sort of went further back. Yeah, I did it so that I couldn't see the ramp. Yeah. Because when you look at, well, personally for me, if I look at something for too long, I it talk myself out. out of it. Yeah. Um, so I just done it, didn't look at the ramp. As soon as I come up to the ramp, look at it, right, you've got to commit. Once you've committed, done. then you're done. Now the next stage of burying that fear is to just keep riding it. Yeah. Keep doing it. I want to see 10, 10, 10. of them today, so you get it out. No. Yeah. So give us a high five, now give us ten. Okay. Nice. I've got four more jumps left now and it's getting a bit easy to the point where I'm breaking because I don't want to overshoot. So I think I'm going to go a bit quicker now and see if I can get bigger air. There's good, yeah. That's a big move. You ready? From there to there. Yeah. Oh. Yo! Drift. That's oh, sick. Look at the dust cloud. Well, that's your 10. Nice. nice. Well done. Thank you. Should we go and review your technique in slow yeah. motion? Okay. Right, style comparison or, or technique comparison. Let's have a look. So, this is me.
I actually couldn't pull that apart. No. You're perfect. Your technique's really good. Compared to mine, you're not pulling up as much, but yeah, you're that's boosting. boosting yeah. yeah. But you're really good. You're very neutral body position, lots of control, and you're really thinking about the landing. Yeah. And you're regulating your speed really well because you've got a flat run up. The beauty of using these portable kickers is you can just pick it up and move it, which is exactly what we've done. The transition and the ramp feel stays exactly the same which is really good for a beginner who's learning the difference between this setup is the landing is much steeper which is going to make it more scary because she's going to be going that much quicker cara actually hasn't looked at it yet so we'll get her reaction as she comes over it's the same thing again like this landing is a lot steeper so it's a lot more scary i don't know i'm gonna to have to like get get my bike and have a look at it and things before I decide if I want to do it or not. The best thing about this one is that over there there's a bit of a roll in so at least that will help me get my speed. Like that, yeah? yeah like that's perfect. And I 100% have enough speed yeah? More than enough from there. Okay. My worry from here is going too quick. Really? <laughs> Oh. Yo, yeah! You did it! I'm not doing that again. Too scary? Yeah. Did I know A little bit, but it's only when you're scared. This is how steep it is, you can't even walk up it, can you? That was scary. Nice, well done though. Do you want to see it back? That was really, really good. I think you could do it again. I don't want to though. I think that it's a bit like earlier, like once you sort of loosened up and done a few, yeah. you'd sort of I overcome just, that fear and I just, show who's boss. I just think that I want to be more confident in doing stuff, like go back over to that one maybe even another time and just keep doing that, keep doing that until it's something that I can just do without even thinking about before I then come on to doing something with a steeper landing because as you guys would have seen, like I nosedived so bad on that and yeah, it's probably because I'm stiff and a bit scared but it's still a much bigger jump and I don't want to like run before I can walk really and I don't want to come away from today's session with an injury either, which I probably wouldn't but it's still personal preference i think i'm just gonna leave it that's so good you did that i mean look at it it's quite a big it's, it's, a, it's a big scary setup isn't it yeah it's really really scary and like at the start of this video like i wasn't even sure if i was gonna do the warm-up step down that we set up and you that did. took a hell of a lot of doing for me to do that to then even go and hit that one yeah i think massive hurdles have been jumped over today so i'm really happy with my progress with overcoming the fear of doing step downs so just as a quick recap the way that we overcome the fear was not fixate your mind on it like it's fine to be scared come away from it if that's what's bothering you and warm up properly like get into the session get your body flowing like relax your mind and you know when you do some easier things and ride them well then you'll be stoked to then go and try the scary one and once you sort of get that buzz things are a lot easier anyway so relaxing is the first sort of bit in this debrief Secondly, it was just repetition after that, wasn't it? Yeah. Once you've done it, instead of being like, oh, that's done and it's scary, just keep going, keep going. I know that wasn't necessarily the case on the second one, but the first step down, that was definitely what helped you to gain the confidence to then move on to that one, wasn't definitely, it? Definitely, yeah. So you should be happy. On that note, that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up, leave some comments below, and we will both see you guys in the very next video.